We have said today that the cost of living is real and is killing the people. It has to be addressed if you are going to actually relieve this, the, 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 the plight of the people of this country. This is our position as a Zimio. Now, finally, Madam, you've written there, Raila Odinga ran for presidency five times and lost five times. In other words, and, and each time he complained that he did not lose. I accepted losing elections in 1997. I said I'd lost and accepted. In 2007, the jury is out there. Everybody knows what happened. In 2013, everybody knows. 2017, people know. 2022, some of you are around in the country. <laughs> you know, there is this Ray Rodinga's diehard who most of the time when he criticizes the government, he likes to say a statement like, what is your Wajinga? In fact, he was borrowing it from what Uto used to say that Wajinga Walesha Kenya, Kenya he, actually. And so it means that when he sees something which is coming out as a lie, a public lie, he will definitely refute it strongly well. And he always likes to create sound bites for the meme creators. Now, I want to ask you a question. When you listen to the, you know, the press statement that uh, Rai Rudinga and the team, the Azimio gave, you know, you can actually deduce very many things. But first of all, I want us to do a deduction on how they had a stand on the cost of living and actually how they brought out the fact that ultimately we have known that that interest was not supposed to be met by either of the teams. In fact, we have now realized what we were saying from day one, that if we want to see an outcome that is going to a focus on the interest of the people, then we need not to go the political way. And when you look at the bipartisan talk, it is all political. So I want to tell you that uh, Ray Rudinga and the team uh, are also coming out to Kenya to think that Kenyans ni wajinga, especially when they now defend the standard that they had and now coming to tell us that they couldn't agree on discussing the cost of living, yet the report has been concluded. You know, in fact, they were saying that all the Azimio leaders who are participating in the talk, who are representing the Azimio, are going to append their signatures. Okay? So, in other words, they have washed their hands in as far as fighting for the cost of living in a very formal way or a structured way that comes with, you know, a standard setting of bipartisan talks. If they are now coming out to say that, you know, they will champion for it in other initiatives, like, you know, when they call for mass action, you know, you can't rely on that. Because a mass action for cost of living will not be the interest for the government and it will not actually materialize to something very tangible. Cost of living is going to be very minute for the government, even if Azimio takes it to the street. So for this case, I think we are blaming both sides. And when Azimio is coming out to tell us that, you know, it is the government that we, we need to, to blame, or did the Kenya Kwanzaa that we need to blame, I think that is um, taking Kenyans for a ride, you know, using Kenyans, cheating them, and then coming out later to, you know, come out with um, fabricated or more lies to defend yourself. So for me, I would definitely say that um, in this case, Ray Rudinga and the team are also taking Kenyans for a ride. And I think we need also to use that soundbite of that... Raila, Raila's diehard, and to tell them, you know, Kenyans are not Wajinga, you know, Kenyan, what to see Wajinga, Mazi? Hey, Bwana, Bwana, what to see Wajinga, Bwana? What to see Wajinga, Bwana, Bwana, Bwana? You cannot just come out and try to defend something that, you know, we know the political interests of the day that were very key to you, you know, overweighed it, right? If they were very serious on the cost of living, and they wanted to make it happen. You can actually listen to Ray Rudinga's sentiment on that, actually the press, okay, based on that specific item of, of um, you know, the cost of living and even how he brushed it off. You know, he just gave out uh, the statement on it on a very shallow 
perspective. And so that tells you, you can definitely not agree with everything. By Azimio Coalition on Nadco report. After three months of difficult negotiations, the National Dialogue Committee submitted his report last Sunday. As we all recall, the talks were preceded by a stolen election, sweat, tears, police brutality and death amid a steep rise in the cost of living, which has only got worse as the talks were being, were, were being concluded. We want to thank all the people of Kenya, the media, fraternity, and other stakeholders for exercising great patience and restraint as the dialogue continued. I thank the members from both sides of the talks for the commitment and dedication to national duty. After the initial tension and mistrust, which was expected, the parties jailed and worked well together. Trust, had, trust returned in their ranks and they were then able to show a strong commitment to peace and reconciliation and the strengthening of institutions and governance process in Kenya. The document the team has come up with is ultimately imperfect and unfinished, but it is a, a good beginning. We have agreed to disagree on the most important matter to us. We made what we believed were reasonable proposals on how to address the rising cost of living. But the government side flatly refused, terming it their exclusive business and further arguing that they got the mandate of Kenyans to execute their Kenya Kwanzaa economic agenda. We will be engaging Kenyans further in the coming weeks as we, mu as we must because the pain of the cost of living is really unbearable. In the coming weeks, the majority of Kenyans will be carrying the burden of increased school fees besides the many crises in the education sector. Be that as it may, we have come this far because of a commitment to constructive engagement and positive energy and sacrifice for the sake of our beloved country, Kenya. Our team was able to get positive results on a number of the issues that we had set out in our demands. These include electoral justice, which encapsulates audits of the 2022 election process, restructuring and the constitution of the IEBC, increase of the timelines for the Supreme Court to hear and determine a presidential election petition from 14 to 21 days, and a commitment to the spirit of multi-party democracy. 